Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reading some more of the Reddit scary paranormal stories that I found. If you guys like these videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Why don't we go ahead and get on into it. I'm just going to read two today. And like I said, I do have to write them down because I film on my phone for right now. So, any who's it. And please excuse how I look. Today is cleaning day again. I am scrubbing my baseboards, so yay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with this one. And don't forget, I will leave the link in the description box. So the first one is, I lived in an old bedroom. I lived in an old bedroom, three-story walk-up for a time in my early 20s in Toronto. A few days after moving in my roommate, Mike, chides me in the morning for banging on the wall that separated our bedrooms and pacing back and forth across the apartment at night. We just argued he must have been dreaming or we just agreed he must have been dreaming or it was sounds from other apartments as I had done no such thing. We agreed that it must have been nothing and left it at that but this became a regular nightly occurrence. Shortly thereafter, I started noticing at certain times in my own bedroom the cloying smell of cheap women's perfume mixed with a damp, musty smell. Imagine an old person's clothes left on a damp, musty basement floor near a litter box that wasn't being changed often enough and you get the idea. What made it even weirder is that I would be filled with sudden horrible sense of foreboding a few moments before the smell would begin. Mike flaked out and left only four months into our one year lease, which meant I was left footing the rent for the entire place until I could find another roommate. I had decided to try and sleep in his bedroom shortly after. He moved to see if things would get better. The very first night I slept in his former room, I had an incredibly detailed and realistic nightmare of myself standing in the dimly lit bathroom of the apartment and cutting my own face with a large shard of glass while staring into the broken bathroom mirror. It wasn't broken in the apartment. After that, I started to hear the loud bangs at night and the flushing of the toilet in the bathroom. Several times, the hot water in the bathtub turned on full blast in the middle of the night. One of the freakier things that happened not too long before I moved is the time I was woken up by the TV blaring poltergeist on city TV at about 2 in the morning. At that time, that channel would always play movies late at night, but the fact that the one time my analog TV, which is a, um, a TV knob to change the channel or the volume, you have to pull a knob to turn it on, it turned on by itself at full blast was the time a movie like Poltergeist was playing. So like an analog TV, because a lot of people don't know what analog TVs are. If you were born in like either the 70s, 80s, or 90s, you know what those are. They are the big, like big square, like pretty much this size TV. And you'd have to pull a knob and twist it and then mess with the rabbit ears or antennas. But everyone was rabbit ears to get the TV to come in. So that was the first story. That one is uber creepy. I read that one and even after writing it and reading it, I have like chills and it's just super, super creepy. So the second one is more of a happier one. It says, growing up, my older brother had a computer program that he used to compose piano music. I remembered I was reading in the living room when I heard the most beautiful violin melody I have ever heard. I listened to the whole theme, which was several minutes long. I walked down the hallway to compliment my brother on his masterpiece. When I realized my brother was not using the computer and I was home alone. So that is super creepy too, um, but at least it's not like making extreme noises like the first one. I think the first one is super creepy because it turned on the TV. It was an analog TV to Poltergeist, which is a older Halloween movie but still kind of creepy. Well you guys that is the videos. I love you guys and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.